Hey there guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. This is a Let's Play and we're up to episode 164. In the last episode, hopefully you've seen it by now, uh, we got the logs all dropped off, medium logs. So, a little bit of a learning curve for that one in regards to picking up and dropping off, but we managed it. And we're on to the last part, which I forgot we had to do. So we need to get this either back to the garage and reconfigured or we'll just bring out something else instead which I think that that's what we'll do we just need a normal load bed for the service pair parts fuel and the vehicle spare parts so we'll nip back to the garage we'll leave the taker here and we'll go back to the garage do, do, do. garage is in the lowland Now the question is, we haven't got an awful lot to carry in one go, so I think we could probably just bring out, we could use the Azov, I suppose. It's also got the crane on it. Or the Voron. I haven't used the Voron for a while, have we? Maybe we'll bring that out. Yeah, why not? Deploy that. And leave. It's pretty much ready to go. I don't think there's anything... There may well be, but I don't think there's anything on this map that we can easily pick up. So let's have a quick look at the map before we leave the garage area. Okay, so down at that warehouse we have vehicle spare parts. I suppose it's not too far away, could pick them up. And what else have we got? There's only other thing is that vehicle spare parts as well. There's not much use, we may as well just... I think I'll just go straight through to Yellow Rock. And we'll pick up everything in there. That's, that is what we'll do. So as again with the last episode, if you saw, I I did the edit. I'll bring you back once we're through in Yellow Rock, ready to go and pick up the first load. I'm not sure which one is going to be the first, but I will see you in Yellow Rock, guys. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to Yellow uh, Yellow Rock. We'll top up with fuel, and then I'll have a quick look at the map, see what's nearest. I also picked up a bit of damage on the tree stump, or a, a fallen tree. Came to a grinding halt. Suspension took a wee bit of a hit. We'll just use this. Oh no, we need to patch it, don't we? Quickly repair, so we're fully 100%. Is gonna connect? Yes. Repair. Yeah, it wasn't much damage. Okay, engine off. Let's have a look. What's the nearest thing? This warehouse here? What have we got in it? First of all, this will be the service spare parts. Okay, that's good enough for me. So we'll pop up there and then go straight to drop them off. Yeah, that's actually... This is... This isn't bad at all. I mean, it could all go completely wrong as it's, it tends to do. I did it just in the other episode where I put two trucks on their sides. Boulder. Just gone and repaired everything and you go and do that to it. Whoa. Mud tires on an asphalt. Like a puppy on a polished floor. 
Ooh, that was a that was a nice drift actually. Ooh. Oh, I'm sneaking the boot. Ooh, I thought I was gonna get damage there. We're gonna go straight up to that point up there. Hopefully, nice and easy. Well, I'll say nice and easy. That bit at the bottom. That's a wee bit dodgy. So, service spare parts. Fuck and roll. Now, obviously, you could use the Azov 73210 and maybe get three into the, the load bed and one stacked on top and do one less run, but hey, it's a nice day. Let's do some driving. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Oh, I just spotted it last second. We're going to go somehow, like we did before, up there. Voron's probably quite a good truck for this actually. It is quite capable, as we've seen. I thought we we're gonna make it are we gonna make it in one go? Oh don't go. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Voron and the Tegas, I am big fans of. The Azov is good as well. And the Paystar has held its own, except for its fuel range. Okay, what next? Let's put the engine off. What should we go for next? This one here? What's in here? The vehicle. Yeah, let's go for that. I think we need to go around that way. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice wee fast route down. We've actually not been straight down this bit yet, have we? We've only ever come up the way. We'll need to angle this perfectly straight down. Should be okay. One way, one third of it is done. Vehicle spare parts, well, as you've just seen in the map, that's not far away. The fuel's probably going to be the worst. And even then, we've covered that route a few times now. We know it's not too bad. So I reckon this Ice Watch task is going to be done in this episode. Even if I have to do some editing. Now, this way. Yeah, just follow the tracks nice and easy.
Okay, whoa! Oh, nice and easy, I didn't I realize that was quite a wee bump. But the Voron's not inclined to tip over, which is quite handy. And we want vehicle spare parts. Not an unlimited supply of them. I'm not sure what other missions are going to require them, though. The snow's coming down. Hopefully that's the worst the weather's going to get. We'll go left this time. This thing is it's almost too fast. It'll be so fast with the reactions in case you do end up going up a wee mound onto your side. I mean it has got a low centre of gravity which is mighty handy. Did you see that? What was that? A tree. Okay, rinse and repeat. Come on. What the hell? No problems. Go on. No, no problem whatsoever. I'm not going to try going up there though. I'll go around. Okay guys, fuel there. Now what's the easiest way to get the fuel warehouse? Let's have a look at the map, I suppose. We could also pick up fuel if we're getting low down that way. So we need to get across to here. And we normally cross from this point here. Uh, up there, roughly. So the hardest part is getting to this point there. So maybe we'll just go back round. Yeah. Kind of know the route now. I mean, normally I would do a wee edit, you've seen this a couple of times now, but as soon as we're going to try and get this mission done in this episode, and I don't think we're too tight for time just yet, I'll just keep you with me for the drive. It could all go wrong, then you can laugh at me. I did see in the map another pickup point for fuel, but I'm fairly confident that the 
the fuel is on trailers and they're for another task. So I'd rather not jeopardise that task just for picking up the fuel. Not even that bad. Managed to do a fair bit without needing fuel, but I think it would be wise to pop down to the fuel station, pick up more, fill up the tank before we head back up. I've still got to get this back. Uh, the other Tag is still in the garage, obviously. It's uh, Sorry, I've reconfigured the Phoenix to have the fuel add-on, but it's still back in the garage, so... It, it would definitely be wise to pick up the fuel en route. A few extra minutes is worthwhile. If they feel like I'm getting to know this map, or the two maps, so much better now. Place to pick up more logs, but I don't think we're going to need that anytime soon. I know I had a quick look um, before I started recording. The, there's a few tasks coming up. If we're going to do them, that do require the logging add-ons. So maybe it's wise to keep that Tega with the medium log carrier on that. Maybe I have to configure another one for the short logs. And maybe the pay star for the long logs. go down at. It's just along here, isn't it? We'll get fuel first though, and then we'll get them on the way back. I can see damage coming. Oh, crikey. Like bumper cars.
can actually repair here, couldn't we? Yeah, let's rob the spare parts out of this trailer. Not much left in it. Is that everything? No damage. Cool. to get the loaf back as well, that'll be quite a trick. When I can get fuel so easy in real life. So expensive at the moment. Actually, can we take a wee shortcut? I wonder if you can go... Okay, this might be a complete... Stupid move. But we, can we cut down here? No. I saw it in the map. I wasn't sure. Well, maybe we could go on that side. Maybe even get up there as well. Interesting. Yeah, that kind of works. I've learnt that route now. Um, which way are we going? Down that hill, isn't it? We're going, yeah, straight ahead. Stop it.
Sun starting to set. We're going to get this done before it gets too dark. Where are we going now? Uh, is it this way? Or is it that way? I think it's that way, isn't it? Let's have a look at the map. I'm lost. Yeah, it's down this way. Trying to focus on not getting caught out at this stage. Tiny bits that's going to tip me over, like there. And we're going around to the right. lag there for some reason. Oh, getting more lag. I wonder what's going on there. Probably doing something silly like a Windows update and I don't know about it. Yes. I thought the fuel might be a wee bit heavier and we might need to use a winch point for that bit. Well, nice and bright up here. Hold on. Oh, that's 30. How much did we get for that? Oh, 12,100. We've now got 338,330 cash. That's not bad. So let's go and get this watch. Where's the tower? How do we access that? There it is. Ah, sneaky. Oh, upgrade location discovered. Interesting. That's just given us another task because of that. Let's close that. Launch the observation. That's what I was looking for. Beautiful. Let's put the engine off. And let's just have a look on the map. That's opened up everything in the middle section. So where were these upgrades? There's an upgrade. So, we've got other things to go and fetch. Okay, guys, well, there we go. That's Ice Watch done, and the watchtower opened.
Superb. Surprisingly smooth for a change. Two awesome trucks. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that, be thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. You know the old score. Notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. Leave a comment. In fact, if you leave a comment, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. So there's an incentive. So there, I'll be checking to see if you've been listening. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.